let's solve question C now. What is the efficient size of the park? Now, recall from micro, the first course of micro, we had in the private market where we have consumption of private goods that the optimal level is going to be when the marginal rate of substitution of every consumer, so let's say MRS of A, equals to the MRS of the second consumer is equal to the marginal rate of transformation. Now, what we're having here is that we're thinking about the park and the park is our public good. This is a public good. So we have to take into account the marginal rate of substitution of both consumers together. This is a slightly different case. We're caring about the optimal provision of a public good. So what we would like to have is the marginal rate of substitution of the first family plus the marginal rate of substitution of the second family equals to the marginal rate of transformation. And I hope this makes sense because what is the intuition? The marginal rate of substitution that we found out in the previous video is showing us the willingness to exchange private consumption of sandwiches for public consumption of the park. Let me just write that real quick. That's a willingness to exchange, willingness to exchange consumption of private good, consumption of private good for public good, for public good. And the reason, the reason we did so is because when we think about the public good, when we think about investing in the public good, well, both families should invest because it's public. They'll both benefit from it. That's why we want to know how much they're willing to give up private consumption for public consumption because we're literally thinking about their opportunity cost. We want to know how much they would give up to get that extra meter square for the park. And we do so for both families, for A and B. And of course, we also must keep in mind that the resources allow it. So the production frontier, right? The marginal rate of transformation is showing us whether in this economy we are able to give up the sandwiches that we want to give up to produce however meter square we want. We have to keep in mind that we have a barrier. We have a limit to how much we can exchange sandwiches for the park that's given by our production possibilities frontier. This is our limitation. Now, with this in mind, let's just solve the math. Let's just solve the math over here. What are the marginal, marginal rate of substitutions for each of them? Well, we calculated them before. That's 20 for family A and 30 divided by square root of Z for family B. Now, what's going to be our marginal rate of transformation? We also calculated uh, two videos ago. Let's just take it from here. MRT was 50. That is the opportunity cost of getting one more meter square for the park. So with this in mind, we can solve the math over here. The marginal rate of substitution for A, that would be equal to 20 plus the marginal rate of substitution for B, that's 30 divided by square root of Z and the marginal rate of transformation is equal to 50. Now, if we take numbers on one side, let's take 20 over there. What do we get as a result? We have 30 divided by square root of Z equals to 50 minus 20, which is equal to 30, meaning that the square root of Z, so square root of Z has to be equal to one. And as a result, Z can only be one. So the optimal level of the park size is gonna be one meter square. Z is gonna be one. So the optimal level for Z is one and we are done.